you're an admirable man. Not many people know who they are the way you do. Come, before the band stops playing, dance with me. I'd love to. I begged you not to drink from the well. Why could you not have listened? Solus. You gave yourself into the service of an ancient elven god! What does that mean exactly? You are Mithal's creature now. Everything you do, whether you know it or not, will be for her. You have given up a part of yourself. I have not become Mithal's slave. Not yet. But if you remove the layer of nostalgia from stories of the Elven Gods, you might see the danger. They were arrogant and fickle. They warred amongst themselves. They had feuds, vendettas. And you are bound to one of them now. I suppose it is better you have the power than Corypheus. Which leads to the next logical question. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? I'll use whatever power I have to undo the chaos that Corypheus and his allies have caused. You would put things back the way they were before? Yes. I mean, not exactly. I know what you mean. Thank you. For what? You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have... impressed me. You honor the past and work to recover what was lost, even if the cost is high. I respect that. And I am indebted to you for the reminder. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power. That, at least, we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. You're being grim and fatalistic in the hope of getting me into bed, aren't you? I am grim and fatalistic. Getting you into bed is just an enjoyable side benefit. Come with me, Vanan. The veil is thin here. Can you feel it on your skin, tingling? I was trying to determine some way to show you what you mean to me. That's not necessary, Solus. You're my... That is the question, is it not? For now, the best gift I can offer is the truth. You are unique. In all Thedas, I never expected to find someone who could draw my attention from the Fade. You have become important to me. More important than I could have imagined. As you are to me. Then what I must tell you. The truth. Your face. The Valisleen. In my journeys in the Fade, I have seen things. I have discovered what those marks mean. They honor the Elven Gods. No. They are slave markings. Or at least they were in the time of ancient Alathan. My clan's keeper said they honored the gods. These are their symbols. Yes, that's right. A noble would mark his slaves to honor the god he worshipped. After Alathan fell, the Dalish forgot. So this is... what? Just one more thing the Dalish got wrong? I'm sorry. <sighs> we try to preserve our culture. And this is what we keep. Relics of a time when we were no better than Tevinter. Don't say that. For all they got wrong, the Dalish did one thing right. 
They made you. I didn't tell you this to hurt you. If you like, I know a spell. I can remove the Valasleen. If what you're saying is true... It is. Then... My people vowed never to submit to slavery. I'm so sorry for causing you pain. It was selfish of me. I look at you and I see what you truly are. And you deserve better than what those cruel marks represent. Then cast your spell. Take the Valisleen away. Sit. Sir Mala Revas, you are free. You are so beautiful. And I am sorry. I distracted you from your duty. It will never happen again. Wait. What? You bring me here. Take the Valisleen from my face and now you just end it. I'm sorry. I never wanted to hurt you. Well, we don't always get what we want, do we? I will see you back at Skyhold.